So in my last video, you probably noticed that I was really calm and peaceful and soothing, but that's my voice. So my voice usually is like that. And so even though I may seem calm, my head has like 500 different things, messages going on. And usually, I don't know if you've seen this meme or this video, or I don't know what it's called. I don't know if you've seen this picture, but it's a picture of if you could see inside of a teacher's brain, it would be like 3,000 tabs open. This is me. I have like 4,000 tabs open in my brain and I'm trying to keep track of everything. I didn't want to share that because it, when people came up to me and told me that they saw my video and saw how peaceful I was or or how things were, um, things looked so easy and happy, I was like, really? Goodness. So I'm super excited to do this video. It's going to be a what's in my teacher's bag. And I'm super excited because I go on YouTube and I love seeing what people put in their bags. So I actually had a request. <laughs> um, Ripsume, if you're listening, this is for you. And I haven't cleaned it out, so I hope I don't come across anything crazy and embarrassing. But if I do, forgive me. But let's get started. So this is my teacher bag. And this is what it looks like. It matches my little vest. And I bought this bad boy, I think it was TJ Maxx for like 40 bucks. And I love it because it's huge and it has like a wide opening so I can just stuff whatever I want in there. But the best thing about this purse is that it comes with like a um, takeaway quick little clutch and I always, um, well I guess we'll get started. <laughs> uh, so let's start with the clutch. So in here right now, I have this little... Uh, um, I guess mini poster and it's the recital for my husband husband's students so he he's an engineer um, project manager I think but he also does teaching violin on the side so he teaches little four-year-olds how to play the violin and this is when my or his students are going to perform I also have my purse or what is this not a purse it's a wallet and it's pretty darn clean if I say so myself I do. so it's pink it's cute and I love it Next, I have my little uh, glasses, which I bought for like five bucks. If you know me, then uh, you know that I don't spend a lot of money on things. They usually break or I usually lose them. Or, uh, I don't know, I just don't like spending money. But I bought these at Charming Charlie and I love them. I have an ID for a student because I found it on the ground and I have to return it to her. Um, oh candy wrapper. Ooh, huh. if you've heard of Itsy, then you know that they send you goodies in uh, every month. For, it's like makeup samples. You pay $10. And this was one of the things I got from it. It's a um, Malin Goats Mojito Lip Balm. Lip Balm. Paper clip. And I have the, I don't know, what is this? A lip balm with color. A watch because I wear watches I love wearing watches but then while I teach I'm always moving and I'm always doing things and just I can never sit still and so I get too hot and my my wrist or my arms swell up does this only happen to me but it swells up and then so I have to take off my watch and that's it this is the little clutch but let's see what else Nickel. So this is uh, my makeup bag, my on-the-go makeup bag. Do I have to go? Oh, I guess I have to talk about everything, but I'll do it quickly, I promise. Uh, Naked Urban Decay Basics for my eyebrows and eyes. My Graftobian makeup. My brushes and a lip liner. And then I also have my other brushes. And then I have, I guess, one more brush. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, one more brush, concealer, I love this bad boy, um, conce I have really dark circles and when the students see me without concealer, they think something's wrong with me, <sighs> uh, Bare Minerals, uh, what is this called, it darkens up your face, makes it look skinnier, <laughs> blush, lip gloss, mascara, and then powder to make my face less shiny when I do move around and sweat. So I, um, I guess my husband doesn't think I'm the cleanest person in the world, but I think I'm pretty clean. And I keep my classroom super clean, but sometimes I don't. 
And sometimes I leave stuff behind and this is my little lunch from maybe, I don't know, four days ago or my lunch container. And if, it, if I don't think it's important, which usually if it's not my classroom or if it's not my husband and family got, then I'll put it on the back burner and cleaning sometimes gets put on the back burner. Anyways, so this, this item is super special to me because uh, one of my students actually made it for me. And I put all my my pens and goodies inside of it because I have planners and teacher planners and I have to put like all these little things in there. So I have my post-its. I, I keep a bunch. And then I have these little tabs that I use. Um, and then I like to keep maybe three or four different colored pens because I... Sometimes I color code my planner, sometimes I just write in it with whatever I see, but I always also keep um, highlighted. And then I, of course I also have a creamer in my uh, pencil, yep, I do. I like to keep creamers on me all the time because I drink coffee all the time, if you haven't noticed from my last video. So then, oh, I have my headphones, and I love these headphones, and I put them on when I'm on my lunch break and I, when I go walking and um, they're super cute and white and I only bought them I think for 15 bucks on Amazon and then I have my charger very standard for my laptop the next thing is my journal and I love my journal it says the best way to predict the future is to create it and then I guess Abraham Lincoln I don't know did he really say that I don't know who, what the source is, but I have it split up into two, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, five different sections. Um, because I have a million tabs in my head, I need to have some physical so I can write in them. The first one is um, when I need to create things for my classroom. So like any, any activities, whatever it is, anytime I have an idea, I like to write it down on a different sheet of paper for different ideas just because I don't want to like lose these ideas so another thing I have another tab is for my blogging so the next one is five ways to stay strong until summer and I need to post this I've written out everything I have I just need to post and it's for my YouTube channel I have to keep everything organized next one is a super special one it's uh, my prayer journal to God. And the last one is, I guess, it hasn't been used very much, but it's um, just random notes. Next is my iPad. Anyways, so I'm super surprised that I don't have any trash. Can you believe it? I should call my husband in here and show him. He thinks I'm kind of messy. Anyways, so this is, this is my planner. And I love this planner. And it's from Inkwell Press. She's a lady from San Diego. And it's very similar to the Erin Condren planners. But I couldn't, I mean, it was easy to choose someone local than Erin um, Condren. I know Erin Condren's awesome and, and their planners are awesome. But of course, I had to go local. And I love it. Um, it's my name. And look how pretty it is. <laughs> I love it. So, I, of course, these post-its I love having them people's names numbers that I need and so it's awesome I don't know what to say about it I I love to write things down and these are perfect for goals monthly goals just random notes that I need to put it and then we have a full calendar and then of course I have my weekly so this is what next week looks like it's um, tomorrow Sunday so it's probably when I'll I'll start to map out my week and I, I get super excited for Sundays because I get to do this. I used to dread Sundays just because it was like the last day of the weekend. But now I look forward to it because I get to organize my week better. And it puts me in a better mood and I love it. Um, but it's done. We're done. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a silly one, but um, it was much needed right before... The crazy four weeks of the last, the end of the school year was going to happen. So that's about it. Thank you. Um, hey babe. What's up? Do I look okay? Mm -hmm. so my husband is totally creeping in the back. I'm waiting for him it. to leave so I can, yes please.
I can't film in front of anybody. 